Hi everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how I budget using Notion. Um, I've been making, a, I think I've made like two videos so far and a couple shorts, YouTube shorts, about my uh, budgeting that I do with Notion. I've also made a couple of videos on TikTok and those really blew up. Um, and people want to know like how I made this within Notion. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough of what I do. Notion is a free app that you can download. Um, you can go to the website notion.so and you can download the app uh, that way. So you can have it on your desktop, your iPad, or your iPhone. Um, and I have it on all three. And I use Notion for so many things. And I do think I wanna make like other videos showing y'all how I've made different templates um, on Notion. But this video is gonna focus on how I do my budgeting. And I've started doing this since December of 2022. Um, and it has worked really well for me, so I wanted to share. Okay, so let's hop on over to the computer so you can see how I create my template. Okay, so we are inside my Notion, um, and I, this is like stuff that I've already created, but I created this down here. So I just wrote out here, I can start over so y'all can see how it works. Okay, so this is my entire Notion, and you can just click, and I'm gonna write down budgets so I can recreate what I already have and then you can do this um, click on this like little triangle made of dots and then you can turn it into a page so go up to page right here and then you can click into it cool um, and then notion you can like personalize a lot of things with notion so you can add an icon and I'm going to do a money sign because why not? And then you can also add in cover art up here and you can use like their built-in things. So if I do, let's see, if I type in money, what comes up? Sure, let's, let's go with this, a stack of money, nice. And then you can reposition it if you want. Um, or you can always add in your own artwork. That's what I did uh, for mine. But for the sake of this, I'll just use what's built in. Um, well, maybe I should show you. Okay, so you can do upload and then pick from just like upload a file the way you would for other things. And you can do it that way. But I'm gonna stick with this art. Okay, so now the page is created and I'm going to add in my, um, just where my paychecks are. So I'm paid bi-weekly. Um, so if I do, this is how mine looks. So I'm gonna do 2023, and then I'm going to do January, and then I'm going to do my first, ooh, first paycheck, and then I will get paid twice. So second paycheck. And now just let's make this pretty. So I'm gonna turn this into a heading. I'm gonna do a heading two. And then I'm gonna make the background color um, gray. And then I'm gonna turn this into a heading three. And January, um, I think of blue when I think of January. So I'll make that blue. And then now we have this organized this way. And if we wanted to go ahead and create February, we can do that. So I'll do February. Mm -hmm. I always struggle with spelling February. I had to pause and think. Okay, so turning that into a heading three and February makes me think uh, Valentine's Day. So I'll do pink as the background. And then if I wanted to make this like a column, I can bring this up and now they're like side by side. So, okay, so my first paycheck, I'm gonna turn this into a another page and I'm gonna click into that so I can edit. Okay, now from here, this is the really easy part. Uh, Notion has already like done the work for you. So you're just gonna go and hit templates. Wow. <laughs> this is exactly the one that we want to use. Uh, so this is their simple budget template and that's what I've been using. So um, let's just go ahead and click get template down here. Voila! 
the page is created for us. Um, it actually like redid some of um, the things. So they changed the name of the, the page. So they renamed it Simple Budget. And you can look up here and see that they renamed it. So I'm going to change this back to First Paycheck. And you know, there's the icon and I can change the cover art if I want. Uh, let's go back to money and see. Yeah, let's pick the piggy bank. Ah, he's really big. Okay, let's pick. That one's big too. It doesn't really matter. I'm wasting time. Okay. Well, I want to change. Change. Change, change, change. Okay, there we go. Woo. All right. Um, so it came with these like instructions, keep track of your expenses and how they compare to your monthly budget. Click all expenses to view this data in different ways. Like, oh, okay. So that's like how you can filter the table. So I'll show y'all how to do that in a second. So they already have some things listed up under here. So let's assume that your monthly budget is 300 or $3,500 and they've already built in a sum for you. So this table or this column in the table, it's adding everything up so that you know how much you've spent. The way I do mine, I do a kind of like a zero based budget when I'm doing mine. So I want this number to, to equal zero by the time I do it. So um, the way I would do things is I put in my paycheck amount. So let's say, let's just assume you're being paid monthly. So 3,500, I like to move this up to the top, which will change their sorting, but that's fine for now. So I'm going to put that up here and you can add in different categories which is what I do, like a tagging system. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna create a new category called income and I'm gonna hit create. And then you can also go back and edit it and change the color. I'm gonna make it green for money. Um, there we go. And let's say, this was January, right? So let's say you got paid January 2nd. So, okay. So let's move your rent up and let's say your rent was 1500. That's understandable in this economy. So um, we can make this related to home expenses and let's change the date. Let's say that was due on the second or the first rather. That's when rent is usually due. You only spend $55 for the month on groceries, let's, I don't know where these people live. Let's make this more realistic. Let's do 200. Oh, also I forgot, um, since this is zero based budgeting, which is what I do, I'm gonna make this a negative number and then it'll subtract it down here. It should anyway, is it doing? Yeah, okay, it's doing it. Um, this is lovely. They're spending money on books. Again, I don't know what books they're buying because if you go to Barnes and Noble, $30 is going to get you one book. They got one book to last them the month. Uh, so let's, let's do that. But they listed that as entertainment. That's fine. Um, why is groceries listed as home? Shouldn't that be food as well? Um, let's see. They're going out to eat. That's fine one time they're going out to the movies for $12. They're getting lunch with their dad. That's nice. And then they got a phone plan of $80. They must not use visible, which is what I use and I pay $25 a month. But anyway, so they did all of their expenses and now they have $1,619 left to work with. And you know, if you want, you can go through and change these dates. Well, you would be doing that when you create yours. Okay. So now everything is listed out 
and you have your categories, you have the amount, you have what it is, and you have the date. Those are the only things that I have in my table as well because those are the only things like I'm concerned about. Let's say like maybe, maybe like me, they have a credit card debt and let's say that they gotta pay $200. We can also make a debt category. Let's make that, can we make it black? No, we'll just make it gray, okay. Let's say that is due on the 13th. Okay, cool. So now let's create some filters so that you can filter through and see the different things that you wanna see. So right now, this is just all you, all of your expenses that we're seeing, but let's say we only wanted to see um, things related to home. So we can create a filter and we can do that by, oh, it already has like the columns. So let's say we wanna filter by category and then we, we said we only wanna see home things, right? So boom, now we're only seeing stuff in home. Or we could switch and let's say we, on, we only wanna see things related to food. Now it's only food. Or we wanna see food and entertainment. So see, you could only, that's how you can filter through things, you can do it that way. Or if there's another way of creating like a section up here. So let's say we want to filter, we want to get a category, let's say we want to see, oh no, that's not, that's not what I'm putting. We want to add a filter down here, okay. And this is not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay, the one that I have, uh, the one that I created like a couple months ago looked different from this. Um, and I was able to add like rows up here, but I am not seeing how to do that anymore. But this serves the same purpose, so let's just keep it like this. Um, so yeah, there we go. And let's remove the filters now so it's back to everything. But we can sort things. So let's say we want to sort everything by the date. So we want these to be in order of by their date. And it fixed it, so now it's January 1st through the 13th, or we can have it go the other way, the 13th through the 1st. Or we can um, organize things by category. So now everything related to home is together, everything related to food is together, and so on. Or you can do it by the amount. Um, so you can have the most expensive thing up front, and then the way we did it, our paycheck doesn't have a negative number, so it's at the bottom. Um, so yeah, it's really just up to you how you want to do things. I like doing mine by date, so that way I know like what is coming out of my account in a certain order. So now we have everything looking the way we want it to look. You can also, um, let's say you have a car payment. Let's say your car payment is like $450. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can click into the car payment and click open and you can insert the same information. So you can do it like on its own separate page or you can do it in the table itself. I'm just showing you different ways. So let's say it was $450. Um, this is a debt and it's due on say the 26. Um, you can add comments if you want. So let's say, what's a comment related to this? Let's say, remember you want to make an extra payment next month. Just like a little reminder for you. And then you can go down here and close it out. And now this is here. So if you ever need to go back in, you can open it and now you have like that comment for yourself. You can change the layout of this. So right now, 
So if you click this up here, these like three dots in a row, um, you see more options. So you can change the layout, you can change it to a board. So it looks like, so it looks like this. Um, this, I don't like that layout, so I <laughs> stick to the table, but you can also put it like a calendar like this. Maybe that works better for you. Um, let's see another thing, a timeline. Nah, that looks confusing. Let's just stick with the table. Um, and remember how we made that comment on our car payment? Right now it's hidden in the table, but if you go here, now it's visible, and now it's added to your table. And you can add in other properties if you want, um, a URL, maybe you want the link to your like credit card payment like wherever you have your credit card, maybe you want to link to that website you can so you can pay it that way. Um, status, maybe you can say like, this hasn't uh, been paid yet or it has been paid. Uh, so you can get like pretty creative with it. Um, you can add in different formulas as well. Um, I don't know a lot about formulas. Um, but they have a lot of different options here. If you know more than me, <laughs> you can add those things in. Um, I don't need all those. I just wanted to have the sum in mind. So that's what I did. So I'm going to go and delete this. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that is how you can, um, create your budget. And I don't want this. So I'm just going to delete that. Um, so there you go. your budget is created. And if we go back, so this is what we made. Um, if we wanted to, we could duplicate this. We can move this over to February. And now we already have our budget made for February. And we can just go in and like modify things as we need to. So I hope this was helpful. Um, this does look slightly different from the one that I use every other week, only because I, I guess I must have forgotten how I made my filters up here, or maybe Notion changed how they did things since I created mine a couple months ago. I don't really know. Um, but I do think that I'm going to just make a template that I can give y'all, like a free template of the one that I actually use. Um, for the people who don't want to go through the process of setting this up and i'll let y'all know when that is available and again like it's going to be free because again it doesn't take a whole lot to make it but i know that some people are not diyers and they would just rather it be created for them so look out for that coming soon i hope this was helpful and if it was make sure you leave a thumbs up leave some comments down below share it if you think anyone else would enjoy this video and i'll see you next time